We bring you the latest on Kazakhstan riots from capital North Sudan. Now the streets are generally peaceful. Some of the lines of buses have resumed operation. However, the bank remains closed and the residents have to use cash to buy basic items. The Nazarbayev North Sudan airport has temporarily suspended operation. Several airlines, including Air Astana, have cancelled flights. Now the internet across Kazakhstan remains largely shut down. Kazakh President Kazim Jumar Tokayev said on Friday that the counter-terrorist operation has started with security forces doing a hard work. The president said the constitutional order has been mostly restored in all regions of Kazakhstan, with regional authorities controlling the situation. While the surging fuel prices seem to be the direct cause of the protests, many believe external forces might have exploited the protests and played a role in provoking the riots. On Thursday, the Collective Security Council of the Collective Security Treaty Organization announced its decision to deploy peacekeeping forces to Kazakhstan, based on the request by Kazakh President Qasem Jomart Tokayev and in view of the threat to the national security and the sovereignty of the Republic of Kazakhstan, including the external intervention. The collective peacekeeping forces consist of troops from Russia, Belarus, Armenia, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan.